And last but certainly not least, Alex Schartzis from Perfect Price. Alex, take us home. Thank you. Uh, my name is Alex Schartzis. I'm from Perfect Price. Perfect Price helps travel enterprises price dynamically using artificial intelligence, machine learning, all of their data in real time, and data from the internet. Before we get into this, this is the last presentation before lunch, so we'll do a little audience involvement. Raise your hand for me if, in the last year, you haven't been able to get the seat on the plane you wanted, the hotel room you wanted, or a rental car that you wanted. It's a lot of people. Me too. I, I'm staying across the street because this hotel was sold out. Well, the reason for that is because of pricing. So let's go back in time a little bit to understand how companies price today. Back in the 80s and 90s, a bunch of uh, incredibly impressive software companies brought the latest and greatest computer science advances out of the lab and into the travel industry. These companies revolutionized how companies priced, and in doing so, they generated millions and millions of dollars for travel companies, and at the same time, they even put other companies out of business, the companies that didn't adopt the new technologies. The challenge, though, is that these were incredibly expensive implementations that took years to, years to finalize and millions and millions of, of both license fees and service fees. Something changed in 1995. Alaska Airlines was the first supplier to sell direct on the internet. And I mean, this, this takes you back, right? Net, uh, this is Netscape 1.0. Turns out the internet and travel worked really well together. 44% of transactions are now digital, right? That's four times more than the second biggest industry, which, in case you're curious, is retail. How are we doing pricing differently? Turns out we're not. We're doing it the same way we've been doing it for the last 35 years. We're using the same pre-internet vendors and the same data sets that we were using in 1995. Not everybody, though. New companies, Uber and Amazon, are using the latest technologies out of the computer science lab, like artificial intelligence and machine learning, and they're leveraging all of that digital data to price more accurately than anybody else. And this is making them not only the best companies of our time, but some of the best companies of all time. That is what Perfect Price does. We take those same technologies and we enable a new business, we, with a new business model, enable travel enterprises to price in the same way as Uber and Amazon. And you might say, how do we do that? Well, we're advised by the guy who wrote the algorithms at Uber and Amazon. I promise this is my only super nerdy slide. You didn't think you could get through a whole AI presentation without one nerdy slide, and you couldn't. So this is it. On the left, you have the traditional approach. This is humans trying to explain something, and it's pretty good, right? But the, there are a lot of dots that don't fit the, the rectangles. So you have x, y coordinates. You have a way to explain it, but it's just not quite perfect. On the right, because AI learns from the data, it's able to be far more accurate and also do that much more rapidly. So what does this look like in real life? One of our first customers was GetAround. GetAround themselves have a, a unique business model. They sell, they enable peer-to-peer -peer car rental sharing. So anybody can rent their car to anybody else and they can park their car anywhere they want. This is an incredibly hard problem to solve because how do you price a car when it's a Porsche sitting next to a Civic? They came to us in RAI with its micro-segment technology to solve this problem. We were able to set prices every 15 minutes for those rental cars and generated, in this case, a 3.7 increase in revenue, which means more revenue for get around, more revenue for the owner of the car, and uh, more availability for the people who wanted to rent that car. Microsegments are really the key and why AI is going to revolutionize travel. Today, a lot of you manage different customer segments, uh, and, and there's a limit when you're dealing with people and the current tools and how detailed you can be. With micro-segments, you can manage down to the individual part of the day and specific asset in a way that you couldn't before. So if you're an airline and you think about pricing every seat on the plane, every flight differently, that's what AI enables. Here's another example from a large travel provider that unfortunately we can't name. At a mid-sized location, they were able to increase their revenue by a million dollars a year, 13.3%. 4% by using AI. And this isn't a big sweeping change. This is a lot of little changes that result in a huge impact. Part of how we do that is by adapting the way humans price with AI. So here what you're looking at is price rising as, as the assets are booked up. 
I'm sure Jim is going to tear the slide apart in a minute, but um, <laughs> the travel industry is huge. I don't have to tell anybody that. We are focused on the $150 billion represented by airline ancillaries and car rental, but we've built an industry agnostic technology that can expand and serve most of the large travel companies. Uh, our business model is revolutionary. So because we have outside data built into the platform, because it's SaaS and you pay for only what you use, and because it's cloud native AI, we have the fastest time to value. So what used to take years can now take one to two months to prove the value of our, of our product. We also have uh, customers already using it. There are a lot that aren't on this slide, but those that are are industry leading innovators in their respective spaces. And we have an experienced management team. I know a lot of you from being a TripIt back in the beginning, uh, and we have uh, a, great, a great artificial intelligence team led by my co-founder, Youngin, uh, and a sales team led by Will from Pros. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please visit our website and see how much you might be losing. Thank you, Alex. Dragons? Go get them, Tommy. No, I, I think, I think that was a beautiful <laughs> slide. Great graphic. Love the picture. Where, where else could we start? Fantastic. I mean, um, rather than doing that, you, we talked a little bit yesterday about pricing models and your ability to extract value in some non traditional ways. Right. Can you just give us a little more color on what that might look like? Yeah, so I think one of the big, the big challenges is trust, right? So, I mean, we have algorithms that work really well, but if you're a Hilton or an Enterprise or an Avis, do you trust that our algorithms are gonna work better than either what you're doing now or what you might be doing with the technology you have? And so, um, I, so the, the method that we've chosen to engage is really sitting down with the stakeholders and then doing, uh, I, could, I could use a lot of jargon here, but a scientifically valid back test to demonstrate the value before, before we even engage with them. Um, and, and that gives everybody the confidence that the ROI is gonna be there. And it's something that you can only do with AI. The legacy vendors would basically take one of their other customers' data, anonymize it, and say, oh, they're doing 2% conversions of the website, you're doing 1%, so we'll double your business, please sign here for 10 years. Um, and so, I think there are other ways of approaching it, but that's the way that we've, we've found to be most effective so far. So can you distill down into the most simplistic language the, the opportunity that you saw here? I mean, revenue management has been you know, under attack for a while, with Duetto being one of the companies right. that's done it well. Right, so what, do you, what did you see here, and, and why do you believe there's an opportunity to create something new that will last? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that surprised me was customers coming to us because they heard about what we were doing and they, and they said, look, what we're doing now just isn't working the way we want it to. It's so core to our business, we have to get this right. And so we want to try a new technology. Uh, I think, I mean, just like Salesforce and Oracle, when, you, when you've been selling something for 30 or 40 years, you, you're fixed in your ways and you have too much invested in that approach. And so a, a, a new player can come along and, and, and disrupt the way you do things. And so now we're seeing enterprises, I mean, there's been a lot of buzz about AI, but when we show up and they can say, oh, this, you can prove that it works in four to eight weeks. I don't have to, you know, it's not a big risk to me. I, I can know that it's gonna work. Um, that, that's really what gets people excited about it. And are you only playing in travel or are you playing in yeah, other I mean, industries? That's a good question. So right now we have to focus, we're a small company. Um, and so we've found that the companies that have, have shown the most need are in travel because of the perishable good problem because, you know, yield management, revenue management's always been really important here. Mm -hmm. AI right before lunch. Um, so can you, <laughs> when you think about um, great examples on the car space, but in, in airline pricing, right, it's, it's infinitely more complicated because of O&Ds and, and whatever right. else. Are, are you active in that space as well? I mean, I know you can't tell us, but yeah, on, how, how on, do you think about on, that? Because it's just... On behalf of the car rental companies here, I'll say that they, they have a good argument to be more, uh, that their business is more complicated because they can move the cars around. Airline people are always um, snobs. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think, yes, the short answer is people have reached out to us in that space as well. And we see an opportunity not to do everything, right? Not to displace, you know, 400 people at Delta Airlines, but to solve the ancillary problem, which, which you know, with the evolution in technology there is a really big problem worth potentially tens of billions of dollars. Good, cool. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Alex.